are so many good things happening on main streets and downtowns across the Magnolia State. And today we're highlighting what's happening downtown this weekend, brought to you by the Mississippi Main Street Association. Don't forget, you can always go to msmainstreet.com slash calendar to get more information on upcoming events. And it's a big weekend for our downtowns and main streets across Mississippi because it is Shop Small Weekend. And Kim Hopkins, the executive director of Vicksburg Main Street Association, is taking advantage of that, of having their open house on also this weekend. So welcome, Kim. Hi, thank you. I'm happy to... Happy early Thanksgiving, although with you gearing up for an open house and shop small coming to Vicksburg, I bet you're still busy as a bee right now. Oh, definitely. Most definitely. We're um, putting the finished touches on decorations and getting ready for shop small and our open house and also our annual tree lighting. Oh, so, so we have been very busy. You have been very busy. So a lot of good stuff going on in Vicksburg this upcoming weekend. Tell us a little bit, though, about your open house and all the activities that will be going on. We will have, um, of course, our merchants will have all kind of specials running and um, tasty foods. And we'll also have Santa downtown visiting. And we'll have um, the Fort Force train downtown for kids to come down and ride up and down the um, street. So it's a great day to come down. We give out poinsettias to the first 100 shoppers that spend $25 or more. And so we'll be giving out poinsettias, Main Street will, and also some bags with those poinsettias. Wow, bags. that's pretty generous, yeah. Kim. Right. Where, do your po- where do your poinsettias come from? They come from a local store here in Vicksburg, the Flower Center. And so we do buy them local. And um and they're really pretty. They're nice size and everything. So they're y'all know they, how to get they're folks. They're wrapped in paper, so it's easy to take home with you and everything. Y'all know how to get folks in downtown Vicksburg to start shopping. Everybody wants uh, to have the opportunity of bringing home a poinsettia. I think that's that's wonderful, and it's also kind. And how cool is it too that then, if that's sitting in your home, you kind of have a, a conversational piece to go along, sort of with it. But let's talk too about the shop small weekend. How important is it that if you're out? I know so many people will start hitting the pavement come Friday, trying to get their Christmas list. Um, taken care of early, as they could or should, um, to shop those local uh, places, to go into their main streets or go to their downtowns? It's very important to support your local um, shops downtown, mom-and-pop shops. You know, all of our stores downtown are locally owned, and, you know, Christmas time is really when they make most of their um, do most of their business. So it's very, very important on Small Business Saturday to come down and support all of your local shops and it helps support the community and your kids you know with the ball ball teams everything it's just so important well so where can we, we keep we up and encourage you where, enough to come down yeah where can we keep up with everything that's going on in downtown vicksburg i mean i know you guys have a wealth of events and things that go on all year i know this is probably just the tip of the iceberg as we move into the holiday season for you guys um and what else will be going on? With Is there somewhere we can go and see? It is. You can go to our website, downtownvicksburg.org, or visit Vicksburg um, website. And we also, let me just mention this, we yeah, also please. have the KCS Holiday Express train happening on November 26th, Saturday. So on top of Shop Small, we also have the train coming in. And um, it's a Holiday Express, KCS Holiday Express, and it will be here at 4 p.m. So that's a great time to... Come down and shop and have lunch and um, then bring the kids and let them see the train. If Christmas. we're not familiar with the train, Kim, explain it to us. Is it a small train? Is it a big can, a big train? Can they get on the train? Does the train move? What Tell us about the train. A, it is a huge train. It's a regular, <laughs> you know, KCS train. But they have six um, car trains that will be um, decorated for Christmas. And Santa Claus will be there. It's a, um, they can go inside of the train. And look at all the Christmas um, decorations. It's completely um, decorated for Christmas. It off- offers a visual display inside and out for the young and old, you know, like. Oh, I think that'll and, be a and lot of fun. And it's free. Um, and, you know, any donations or they, um, the donations go to the Salvation Army. And then they base it on your crowd size. So um, we always have a huge crowd, too. Oh, and and, but they do give money to the Salvation Army for it. And you said that's coming to Vicksburg when? 
that's Saturday, November 26th at 4 p.m., and I do suggest everybody get here early for that um, because the lines will, you know, be long lining up. So we used to have a huge crowd for that, like anywhere from 6,000 or more. But if you that. wait that late to come to downtown, you're not going to get a poinsettia, right? They'll That's be going. Right. <laughs> right. So come early, shop small, or, and have lunch, and then go, come get in line for the KCS Holiday Express. Well, it right. sounds like there's so many good things going on there in Vicksburg. Kim, I appreciate your time. Happy early Thanksgiving to you and yours, and we'll see you this you weekend. Say. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. All righty. That's one thing that's going on there in Vicksburg. I know Canton is also utilizing the Shop Small Weekend for their open house events as well. Many of your downtowns may have already had their open house events, as we've shared about over the last couple weeks here on Good Things. But that doesn't mean that you can't still shop small this upcoming week. For every dollar spent at a locally owned business, about 70 cents stays local. So that's kind of a good return on your investment. And I guess the big push, or at least the big uh, media push, is November 20. 25th through the 29th and is a weekend to celebrate everything you love about shopping small and local. So you can also do it online as well as in person. I think sometimes we get wrapped up in this idea that shopping small only means going to the brick and mortar. That's not always the case. Many of your favorite shops that are on your main streets or in your downtowns, they also have online um, options. And so if they are running these deals or these specials this upcoming weekend, you can take advantage of that by getting gift certificates or shopping online or doing it you know, however makes sense to make sense to you. I know that I think it's November the 25th. That would be Friday. It is Plaid Friday. So there's a big push, social media push for the hashtag and everything where a lot of folks will be out wearing their plaid. I'm wearing my plaid a little bit today, right? Is this considered plaid or flannel? I'm not sure. I'm not up to the fashion. But I think maybe that'd be called plaid. Plaid and flannel. I'm a day or two days early, right? I thought uh, flannel was a fabric and plaid was a design. You know, I didn't get a degree in that. <laughs> <laughs> Fashion is definitely not an area of expertise. Um, and then don't forget, to you've got coming up quick is Giving Tuesday, which will be uh, next Tuesday. We'll definitely be talking about that. But going back a little bit, too, you'll have Cyber Monday. And many of your Main Street's e-commerce will be offering um, opportunities for you to get good deals and steals. November the 27th, that's Sunday. That's Artist Sunday Support, local artists. So don't forget, too, when you can buy those um, handcrafted uh, pictures or ornaments or knickknacks and all the things. They really just do make more personal gifts. My favorite story to tell, and I may have already shared it here, is one of my favorite gifts that I got from a friend. I, I don't know if it came from, actually, I think it came from a farmer's market. So that's not really Main Street, but but it was an old gentleman who makes wooden spoons by hand and it's the type of wooden spoon that you probably wouldn't actually use now because it's too nice of a spoon to use it's definitely a display item so i display it and it's got like the little mississippi burned or soldered or whatever the right word is um stamped um into the spoon part and it sits in my container by my stove that's got all my other spatulas and spoons and things that I actually use for cooking and I see it every single day every day in my nice little container is that one little spoon that's got a little extra spark or spunk and I think about the nice friend who purchased it for me now I don't necessarily know the artist who who did it by hand um, but I know that there's a story there and so don't overlook the spoons (laughs) when you're thinking about what to purchase that person that probably has it has it all and also don't forget to overlook your um your downtowns we we encourage you big time to to shop local and think um, outside of the box when you're thinking about uh, things to get your family and yeah you can always go to to msmainstreet.com slash calendar to get more information on upcoming events maybe your downtown hadn't had their main street event yet i'm sure or their open house event yet that's probably coming up quick like in a hurry as we get into the holiday season. And then to all of the downtown lightings of the Christmas tree and all of those events, make sure you take time and take your family out to those. Man, all the Christmas parades that will be happening coming up in a week or two is also a good time and a good way to get connected to your community and get to know and see your downtown from a different perspective. We get to do 
the Christmas parade now. I got a connection, Rano. And the girls love throwing the candy. It's so much fun. It's like a little child. You're like, yes, here, I feel like Santa. Here's all the sugary things for you. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. All right, stick with us. We got more for you guys.